everybody and welcome to Dollhouse Build episode 7. So today we are going to be looking at painting some windows. So these are the two side windows that go on the left and right hand side of the basement bottom. Um, and let's have a look and take one out what we've got. So there's quite a few parts that come with these. Um, that's the little frame there. Presumably that is the frame then which goes on the inside of the basement. Um, now they will be being painted white. So I'll just put them to one side. Um, and then I've got these very, very thin strips. I'm not exactly sure what they're for yet. And I have a small strip here. And then this is the main window assembly. If you saw the un unboxing, we had a look at these because I love these windows. Um, so that's the bottom frame, which just slots on there. And then it has working sash windows, which are beautiful. Um, let's just slide those out of there. So we have a top one and then a bottom one. And you can see the top one goes in there. Uh, okay, there's some other bits in here as well. So that's the main framework there and then we have two areas where you can see in there where the actual window sliding so one at the front one at the back um, so let's just put that to one side a minute and those little bits and have a look at these windows so that's the top window with the nice archway on there and then that's the bottom window and I think that goes on the front and that goes on the back uh, ah right okay I've worked out what these little areas are here ah that's very clever <laughs> okay so the whole thing comes apart even the acetate which is brilliant because I was panicking a bit about how I was going to paint these frames and not get paint on the acetate um, so that's again very very cleverly thought out um, again I'm going to give it a very very smooth just sandpaper I don't know if you can see there's some very tiny little bits there that are just obviously when it was cut um, just little threads that are hanging off so I'll give it a very just a very quick sandpaper um, in terms of painting these frame parts here I don't think I need to paint them because they're going to be just holding holding the actual acetate in so I think what you do when you've done is you put the acetate back in that way get it the right way and then you glue one of those in or just hold it in um, so you've got your window assembly and that obviously means that you can paint the frame without having to worry about getting it on the acetate so yeah that's fine so those two I'll not paint there is a third one as well I'm not sure what that's for maybe it's just a spare but I'll leave them unpainted for now I can always go back and paint them later if I need to. The acetate I'll put somewhere um, very safe. Right, so these bits are going to be white, um, the, the white that we're using throughout the house, that antique white. So in terms of this part, um, I want this to be cream, the majority of it to be cream, and then I'm probably going to paint this top bit, I'm not sure about that lintel as well, it Might just I think it's just going to be the actual top canopy part. Um, I want to paint that like a sage green just so it just adds a little bit of, you know, interest, just something a little bit different rather than the sort of um, it being just white and cream. So we'll get these parts um, done first. I'll open the other side and the two frames and all the insides will get paint, uh, painted white first. Um, that's obviously part of that. And then these little bits here that I'm not sure what to do with it, I'm just going to put to one side for the minute um, until we've worked out what they're for and if they need painting. Um, and the same with the acrylic, I'll just put them to one side um, and we'll get started. Okay, so that's all the frames with the first coat of white. So we'll wait until that's dry um, and then do the backs of these frames. Um, these don't need doing the backs off because they'll obviously be against the wall. So I'll just have a light sand coat and repaint those. Um, these ones will need um, sanding back and then obviously the back's doing as well and the same again. Now the doors took three coats, so I should imagine these will probably take three coats as well. 
Okay, so all the frameworks are done now. They've had three coats and uh, sanding in between, so they're all ready. Um, and it's time to start these parts. So um, we're going to be colouring them cream. Um, and the top part there, just this um, area here, is going to be um, in sage green. But the rest of it is going to be cream. So we'll get started with that. Hello. So I thought I'd just give you an update of where we are so far. So the frames have been painted white. They've had three coats and a sanding, light sand in between. These bits, all the cream bits have been painted um, as well as the um, bottom part as well there. So they're all ready to be connected back together. And because I've painted on the inside of there, although I've only given it one coat, I was a bit worried if it's gonna affect how the windows will work. So I have actually tried it out on this one. And as you can see, they work perfectly. In fact, they work better than they did because to be honest, I thought that I might have to glue this top one in place because when I stood it up, it was falling down. But as you can see now, it will actually just stay as is, which means I don't have to glue it. I can just move them, which is even better. So um, yeah, I'm really happy with how looks that looks at the minute. The only decision that I've got to make and I can't decide is obviously these bits of cream here um, and what I'm going to be doing if I take those out, these bits here I want to colour sage and this bit at the top I want to colour sage. Now this little bit at the bottom here, I can't decide, so it goes like that, I can't decide whether this bit here I want to actually paint cream or to paint green. At first I thought green, so I'd have this bit, the, the sage, the sage and the sage. And now I don't know if it's going to be a bit too much sage um, and I wanted it to be predominantly cream. So what I'm going to do is take my own advice, which I've said if you can't make a decision, just leave it a minute. So I'm going to just halt the painting on this at the minute, put all these parts safely to one side um, until I've decided exactly what colour I want to do them, uh, these bottom bits, and then I'll continue with the painting. Um, actually, do you know what? It might be better for me to paint these first in green and see how it looks with that on the bottom. Um, yeah, that might be a better option and then I can see if, if I want it cream or green on the bottom bit as well. So I might get these top bits done here and then we'll have a decide on what to do about that window sill. So here it is with the green that I wanted to paint on there. So I'm quite happy with how that looks. And I did decide that actually it probably would look good with the green just on that little windowsill part as well. So I've put it on there as well. Um, and as you can see, this has just had one coat and a light sanding. So I just need to do the second coat of the green. Um, but as you can see there, that's how it will look. And I'm really, really happy with that. So we'll get this painted a second coat and um, obviously this second one we'll get starting painting that um, the green as well okay so we've pretty much finished um, with the painting of the frames now the window frames so the window sills are done the window frames are done and everything's sort of ready to be glued back together now um, the inside of them I've actually painted white because these areas here go on like that and I wanted them to be um, obviously matching so they, so they match on the inside and then what I might do when it's all put together is just give a very light sand and just go over the whole white bit again um, but yeah pretty happy with how they've turned out so what we need to do now is um, get the perspex um, slotted back into these bits and then get these bits slotted back into this bit and then we should have a whole window so we'll get cracking with that together and uh, fitted and everything is working as it should so really happy with those 
Um, I do have these little bits of wood left and I think what these are, these are like the little bits I put in the side where the glazing was. And I expect if you wanted to put one in to hold the window in place, obviously that's what those are for. But I haven't because I think putting that paintwork in, in these grooves area just gives it that little bit of um, friction that's going to stop it from falling down. So you can open them but you, you do have to pull on them rather than just fall in. So yeah, really, really happy with how they've turned out. Um, so yeah, that's another job completed. Thanks very much for watching. And uh, I think in the next episode, episode 13, we need to be starting to assemble.